Ji Hoon is going to come up now and tell you a little bit about what he's seeing in his clinics in South Korea. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Uh, hi, my name is Ji Hoon Kim. Um, let me just uh, load my slide up. Hi, so I'm a clinician at a brain health clinic in South Korea. Uh, it's, it's exclusive for children on the autism spectrum. And uh, I've had the incredible fortune and the blessing to be one of the first clinics to utilize Avmacol. And uh, today I'll be sharing with you um, my experience. Uh, but uh, before I do, I wanted to share with you two things. Uh, first, I want to just introduce a little bit about our clinic so that uh, you're really able to um, interpret uh, the results. Um, and just kind of uh, get an idea of what other treatments were used uh, along with Avmacol. And secondly, I want to uh, talk about why and how I came to choose Avmacol uh, amongst the many broccoli-based supplements that are out there. Uh, so here is a little video clip that I prepared for today. So some of you might be familiar with uh, Brain Balance Achievement Centers um, and uh, our center uh, in Seoul uh, adheres to the same principle that one component of autism is a, a disconnection between the left and right brain. Um, and so we use uh, the body's various receptors to stimulate the part of the brain that is under functioning and uh, use uh, timing exercises to um, uh, connect the two brains together coherently uh, time-wise. Um, so, uh, the children that are admitted to our clinic uh, range from uh, mild to severe ASD, including ADHD, tics, learning disabilities, uh, lack of social communication skills, and uh, just the whole gamut. Um, we perform uh, a lot of uh, tests. Uh, we start off with a functional neurological assessment. Uh, this would include um, assessment of their uh, reflexogenic movements, such as cross-crawl, uh, VOR. Uh, uh, eye movements such as pursuits, saccades, uh, working memory, uh, hand and eye co-dominance, um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, coherence of hand and eye dominance, uh, uh, and uh, just try to get an idea of how their brain is functioning. Uh, and then we'll continue on with uh, urine organic acid exam, um, IgG food sensitivity. Um, we're hopeful that we can get some more autistic uh, autism uh, genetic panel, but uh, uh, so far the only uh, access we have is the MTHFR SNP test. And um, I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, Dr. Stephanie Seneff, and, and she has really inspired me to become active in the GMO field. Uh, and as a result, we've come to offer the glyphosate levels uh, testing uh, uh, as well. Um, uh, Treatment-wise, uh, uh, we uh, you know, stress and urge, the, uh, first of all, to eliminate all the inflammatory and the allergenic, the processed foods, um, uh, you know, gluten-free, casein-free, lectin-free, salicyclic-free, um, just uh, everything that's uh, harmful. And, um, uh, you know, just try to encourage a, 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 a plant-based diet um, uh, rich in phytonutrients and uh, fiber. Um, as you saw in the video, uh, we'll do these exercises. Uh, they're called hemispheric integration exercises. Um, and uh, for uh, really uh, children with developmental delay, we have uh, techniques uh, to uh, eliminate their primitive reflexes. Uh, and we have some uh, training sessions uh, to uh, improve their visual perception. Um, and also, uh, like, we'll send out videos like uh, how to do earthing and you know, avoid blue light, uh, reduce their EMF exposure, and so on. Just try to utilize everything that's uh, been said uh, at this seminar. And of course, supplements are a huge part of our clinic. 
Um, but it, it can be a little uh, too much at times. Um, it, with all these tests, the child is left with uh, a dozen to 20 or so supplements. And uh, I guess part of my job is just to replace them with uh, real food uh, as much as possible. Um, so secondly, I want to talk about why did I choose Avmacol amongst the, uh, a lot of the supplements out there. So, so my story begins uh, uh, in September 2017. Um, I was uh, driving and listening to Dr. Gregor's uh, nutritionfacts.org uh, uh, YouTube channel. I'm, not, uh, I'm sure many of you are aware. Uh, and he uploaded this three-part video series on sulforaphane, and um, he uh, talks about the, the immense benefits, uh, such, uh, like Dr. Konda had mentioned, the dampening of the neuroinflammation, um, the heat shock protein response, uh, uh, the activation of the NRF2 pathway to uh, 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 induce uh, phase two uh, detoxification pathways, and uh, he also talks about uh, the Singh and Zimmerman study of uh, 2014, where um, sulforaphane was administered to uh, f 50 uh, participants, uh, uh, boys uh, with autism ranging from uh, ages 13 to uh, 27, and uh, they saw uh, improvement in their aberrant behavior checklist scores by 34 uh, percent. And um, they improved their uh, social uh, responsiveness scale by uh, 17%. Um, and uh, when I heard that, I was like, I was, wow, you know, a single compound can do this, so I, I must have it uh, at my disposal. Um, so I, I got real interested, and I just kind of dug deeper into sulforaphane. And um, uh, as uh, Dr. Kornblatt had mentioned before, um, something uh, that's worthwhile mentioning again is that even though all of you are consuming broccoli, uh, you know, sulforaphane may have evaded you all your lifetime. And, and that is because uh, uh, when we, the traditional method that we cook the broccoli will uh, denature the myrosinase protein and um, event, all you're left with is the glucoraphanin and uh, your uh, a bioavailability of sulforaphane is dependent upon the, uh, the availability of myrosinase uh, enzyme available from your micro, uh, microbes in your gut. Uh, and uh, there is actually a method to kind of improve the sulforaphane uh, bioavailability. Um, you could actually chop the broccoli first uh, before you cook it. Uh, that way you'll break the cell wall. Uh, and uh, that will allow the myrosinase enzyme and the glucoraphanin to just kind of mesh together to produce the sulforaphane, and then you could lightly steam it. Um, and that's what I tried first, but uh, later on I learned that uh, broccoli sprouts contain up to 20 to 100 times more of the precursors for sulforaphane. So my immediate uh, reaction was um, I'm going to transform every available space of my clinic uh, to a broccoli sprout farm. <laughs> Um, but of course, I, I ended up ordering uh, just a bag of broccoli seeds and uh, 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 just a sprout growing plastic kit. Um, and a couple days later, uh, I ended up with my first batch of broccoli sprouts. Um, and I have to be uh, very honest, uh, I can eat a lot of things. I'm, I'm, I'm Korean, I can eat a lot of fowl and, and you know, uh, bad things. But um, broccoli sprouts were uh, extremely difficult to uh, eat. Uh, on a regular basis, and uh, and that is for a reason, is because the sulforaphane is actually nature's pesticide. Uh, it is actually meant to uh, deter the uh, the insects and the herbivores from consuming them all the time. Um, uh, but uh, regardless of the taste, you know, um, I really wanted to recommend this to my patients, and I met with the doc, uh, the parents of the autistic parents at our clinic. And I told them about, uh, I showed them this graph uh, of, the, of this immense improvement. And um, uh, when I met back with them, uh, you know, and obviously I told them to uh, you know, try this out. And I showed them my little project of growing the broccoli sprouts. But uh, when I met back with them, uh, not a single parent had done this. Uh, and this is not to criticize uh, their lack of diligence or anything, but um, it's essentially farming. You know, uh, bro growing broccoli sprouts is, is not a, an easy job. Um, and so the lesson that I learned from that was, uh, you know, I couldn't, um, uh, you know, uh, give sulforaphane uh, uh, and uh, to and, and teach the the parents to grow broccoli sprouts on their own. 
So I had to turn my attention to supplements. Um, so I pretty much ordered everything that I could on the internet. Uh, and uh, when the instruction manuals uh, said take one capsule, I actually took five. Uh, if it said one scoop, I took as many as I could. Because uh, I just wanted to experience for myself uh, what the heat shock protein response felt like. Um, but uh, pretty much all the supplements um, weren't, uh, weren't so impressive uh, because all, all, pr pretty much all I felt was just a little less stiffness after exercise um, and nothing that would really blow me away. And then I came upon uh, this study uh, where uh, it compared the, um, the sulforaphane levels um, in your blood uh, after, consuming, uh, uh, after comparing the consumption of broccoli sprouts versus a um, a product uh, purported to co uh, contain sulforaphane, uh, and they used actually six capsules of it in the study. And so it was evident that uh, using supplements out in the market uh, couldn't deliver the therapeutic uh, dosage of uh, sulforaphane. Uh, so uh, I was left uh, in this place of irony and, and pretty much paralysis because uh, you know, broccoli couldn't, uh, you had to literally eat like a box of broccoli to get the uh, dosage that you need and you would have to, and feeding broccoli sprouts is not an easy job uh, and broccoli supplements weren't that uh, effective. Um, and one day I just woke up and uh, it's like this moment of epiphany came and uh, I realized that in the Singh and Zimmerman study they must have used a, uh, a valid and a reliable source of sulforaphane to uh, give to the participants in the study. And so that was my last hope. Uh, and so I emailed uh, Dr. Jed Fahey, who is the head of uh, the Chemo Prevention Center at John Hopkins and also who headed the, uh, the Singh and Zimmerman study, um, and he kindly wrote me back. And that's when uh, he told me that Avamacol uh, is the product that they had tested uh, and it's a reliable source. And um, later on, I found out that Avmacol is uh, the, uh, the choice of sulforaphane for all these uh, studies uh, that are uh, related to sulforaphane. And uh, just to add further, because this is an autism seminar, uh, sulforaphane, uh, Avmacol is used as the uh, choice of supplement for uh, all these uh, uh, additional uh, five studies uh, that has to do with autism uh, in China and in the States. So uh, by, it was October and I finally had my uh, bottle of Avmacol and uh, in, in walks this uh, uh, five-year-old autistic kid uh, and he's just screaming uh, so loud. It was, it was the, the most uh, severe uh, case of temper tantrums that I had ever witnessed. And, uh, you know, you would just look at him and he would scream. Uh, uh, and so I actually couldn't have a consultation with the mother. Um, so we ended up talking on the phone the next day. And she, uh, I, I told her, you know, your son is just really uh, sensitive and uh, unstable. I, I'm not sure if we could... Actually, uh, he, I'm not sure if he could do any type of exercise or, or just maybe stay still. Um, but I, I obviously told her about the diet that she could, you know, go on and all the tests uh, and, the, and the nutritional interventions that she could do. Uh, but, and I also told her about the abimacol and the sulforaphane. And two days later, uh, after, she took the, after she gave the abimacol to the child, uh, we were just uh, stunned uh, because... Um, she, she told me that the, the temper tensions had disappeared the next day and uh, he was doing uh, plank core exercises uh, on the first day uh, and it was just an amazing sight. Um, and uh, by the first month, uh, his classroom behavior was just um, uh, undisruptive and uh, by the second month, uh, it was just so clear his language was uh, progressing at a, such a fast level. Um, and by the third month, uh, we could actually, uh, I could actually interact with him to uh, do all these uh, tests and, uh, you know, uh, observation of the eye movements. Uh, he had normal uh, eye reflexes like VOR, saccades, uh, pursuit. Um, uh, his cerebellar function was okay. Uh, he could read numbers uh, and he could also uh, memorize up to five numbers. So that, that was, uh, this was a pace that I had never experienced at my clinic before. 
Um, and by the fourth month, uh, uh, we did another test where he, um, uh, where we asked him to draw uh, uh, in the uh, space below, uh, where he would be asked to copy the images at the top. And uh, uh, I just want you to know that four months ago, uh, this kid didn't know I was there. Um, and uh, actually, when he drew this, uh, he still had his hand grasp reflex, so he wasn't able to use his index finger. Um, uh, and uh, you know, he did a, a pretty good job of it. So my first uh, Avma call uh, experience uh, was uh, well, it was pretty shocking. Um, I realized that uh, you know this, the temper tantrums, uh, the reduction of it, or just just sometimes an immediate sensation of it was uh, something that has been uh, repeatedly uh, said with uh, other parents. And um, one thing is that the speed at which these uh, children would uh, recover was just something uh, miraculous. So this is a mother, uh, an interview of a mother who was actually referred uh, uh, because the, the, the child, that, the first child who was on Abma call saw such good results that, um, that, he, that, that she came in. And uh, she's a mother of a four-year-old uh, autistic, severely autistic child and who couldn't speak. And uh, two weeks into Abma call, uh, he spoke his first words. So uh, he just wanted to share that. ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、ね、
2주. 2주 정도 부터는 어, 네. 음, 좀 효과가 있는 것 같다. 어, 그게 좀 느껴졌어. 아, 네, 잠도 네. 밤에 누우면은 네. 이렇게 어두워야지 자는 그런 거는 있는데 네, 네. 그렇게 이렇게 조건 환경만 맞춰주면은 금방 음, 잠들고 금방 아침까지도 푹 자고. 음, 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 네. 어, 그거 외에 아이의 어, 뭐 인지나 뭐 다른 면에서 음. 좀 이렇게 먹으면서 또좀 달라진 점이 있으신가요? 음, 일단 따로 이렇게 구몬이랑 음. 수업을 하고 있는데 네. 보면은 수, 수창이나 음. 이렇게 순간적인 집중력이 좀 많이 좋아져서 이렇게 좀 받아들이는 음. 게 음. 초반에 비해서는 음. 뭐좀 많이 음. 가능해졌다는 거. 음. 그러니까 뭐 초반에는 단어 한 두세 개 이렇게 음. 했는데 이제는 뭐 여덟 개, 단어 여덟, 음. 다섯 개에서 한 여덟 개이 정도까지도 음. 이렇게 딱그 시간 안에 딱 그거에 인지가 딱 되더라고. 음. 학, 학습이 딱. 네, 네, 네. 네. Oh, so this uh, next, uh, I just have a couple more interviews. Um, so this is a, a, a mother of a, a, a five-year-old boy, and the boy was struck by uh, a bus and dragged for a a couple meters, and after the accident, um, the boy uh, suffered like, regression in his memory, uh, language, uh, and just cognition altogether. Uh, and uh, it's it's been uh, two years since the accident, but uh, he still had uh, you know a, a lot of trouble just like communication-wise, and uh, the uh, the speed at which he uh, just took off after Abma call was so amazing. Um, so. This is a, uh, and I particularly want to share this video because if you look at Abmacol uh, and the way the mechanism it, it affects uh, the neurons is that it's a, essentially a, a regenerative uh, pathway. Uh, it actually, you know, it's a rehabilitative, regenerative um, mechanism. So. Uh, this was something that. 네. 네. 어 전에 같은 경우에 이제 사고 나고 나서. 네. 한글 자체를 아예 다 잊어버리고 1, 2, 3, 4도 다 아예 음. 잊어버렸었거든요. 네, 그래서 네. 여기 지금 센터에 근데 내원했을 때 겨우 1, 2, 3 어. 정말 이렇게 10가지 이제 음. 세고 겨우 음. 세는 그런 단계였는데 음. 여기 이제 와서 치료도 받고 음. 아부마크 이거 같이 복용하고 음. 이러면서 진짜 이제 음. 역으로도 세고 음. 음. 많이 많이 네. 인식하는 게 좋아졌어요. 네, 네, 네. 아. Uh, this next interview is a mother of a child uh, with uh, stuttering and tics. Um, and uh, I particularly want to share this interview because um, he recovered so quickly that we really didn't apply any other testing like a urine organic acid exam. It was just a matter of two weeks. Um, um, and he barely d was able to do any exercises. It was just a probiotics, abmacol, and um, just a, uh, the anti-inflammatory diet. Abmacol을 먹고 아이가 어떤 면이 좀 바뀌었는지 좀 공유를 좀 해주세요. 네, 네. 어 저희 아이는 학교 들어가고부터 약간 틱 증상이 있었고요. 네. 한 2년 전부터 말을 조금씩 더듬기 시작했는데 어, 학기 초에 수, 음, 학교의 선생님 대로 이제 상담하러 갔는데 어, 책을 읽으면서 너무 많이 더듬어서 이렇게 옆에 친구들이 많이 수근거렸다고 그래서 이제 발표에 자신감도 없고 어, 스스로도 많이 음, 힘들었다고 그렇게 얘기하더라고요 그래서 어, 치료에 이제 치료를 시작해야 되겠다고 음. 생각해서 네네. 이곳에 오게 됐고 또 아브마코를 먹고 한 2주 정도 지나고부터 음. 어, 말 더듬는 게 너무 좋아져가지고 음. 제가 이게 음. <웃음> 이게 진짜인가 할 정도로 음. 좀 놀라 놀, 놀랬어요. 음. 그리고 지금 한한달 정도 지났는데 네. 말 더, 더듬는 거는 거의 좋아졌고 네. 지금 네. 틱 증상도 거의 지금 발견하지 못할 정도로 음. 지금 좋아진 상태입니다. 아, 네, 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 네. 감사합니다. 네. 네. So this was the question that I uh, was really curious about was uh, whether um, the effects of sulforaphane is it independent, uh, separate, or distinct from uh, other nutritional interventions? Um, 
And uh, I, I have come to believe uh, from the six months uh, that it is so. And, and because it's a, it's a nutraceutical, uh, it works at the cellular level to send signals uh, to uh, ramp up the uh, uh, NRF2 pathway and the NF, NF kappa beta pathway and the heat shock protein response. I mean, that's not a mechanism that you see with nutritional interventions, right? Um, so, uh, just uh, this is a case uh, uh, interview with a mother uh, who uh, was, was admitted to our clinic six months uh, predating AVMA call. Uh, we did everything we could. The, the, the girl improved, uh, you know, a lot from uh, the, the testing and the, the supplements and the, the brain exercises and so on. But uh, there were issues that were still unresolved. And it was just a matter of a couple of days uh, when uh, all these issues just got um, untangled and, and gotten taken care of. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 음. 전혀라기보다 이제 계속 그 상태대로 음. 해결이 안 됐었거든요. 네네. 선생님이 이제 1월에 네. 아부마 코를 이제 권해 주셨고 네. 이제 권해 주시기 전에 좀 설명을 해 주셨는데요. 네. 어 뭔가 딱 부족한 그한 가지인 것 같다는 느낌이 왔고요. 근데 네. 그걸 먹고 바로 2, 3일 그냥 네. 먹 눈빛이 변했어요. 아. 눈빛이 네. 딱 변하고 이제 그그 그 어... 며칠 2, 3일 이제 엄마 나 이제 화장실 혼자 갈수 있어 그러면서 어... 이거 화장실 가는 걸 너무 부끄러워해서 네. 어, 집에서도 혼자 방문 잠그고 그 안에 화장실 문또 잠그고 들어가서 일을 네. 보곤 했었거든요 어... 근데 이제 거실에서 방문 열어놓고 화장실에 가더라고요 네, 네. 엄마 나 화장실에서 나, <웃음> 나 대변 보고 있어 엄마 네, 네. 나 이제 되게 잘해. 그래서 어? 근데 어. 스스로 자기가 안것 같아요. 어. 자기가 바로 얘기를 했고 네. 공중 사우나도 막 가고 음, <웃음> 네, 네. 공중 시설 이런 거 너무 회피했었거든요. 근데 그렇군요. 바로 달라졌고 네. 네. 그게 계속 지속이 되었고요. 음. 이제 되게 신기한 건 일곱 살이 끝날 때까지 일곱 살을 몰랐는데 네. 1월에 아부마콜 먹고. 바로 나는 여덟 살이라고 말을 했어요. <웃음> 내가 여덟 살이고 어. 우리 사촌 오빠는 아홉 살, 어. 동생은 지금 한살더 먹어서 일곱 어. 살이 됐어. 네, 네. 이걸 한 번에 다 얘기를 하는 거예요. 음. So this is the last uh, thing I want to share. Um, uh, last case I want to share. Uh, this is a, uh, a boy who was admitted to our clinic on uh, 2016. Um, he had uh, just a developmental delay, uh, you know, aggressive behavior, um, poor uh, fine and gross motor skills, uh, limited vocabulary. And uh, this is a test called uh, ROCF, Ray Ostrich, uh, where the, uh, the, the child is asked to uh, copy uh, in, the, in the space below the image at the top. And you, as you can see, he, did a, he did, had a very uh, difficult time with it. Uh, this is um, about eight months into the program with, uh, with the diet and the brain exercises, the probiotics. You see, obviously, you see some improvement. Um, and uh, this is after urine organic acid testing uh, and the supplementation. Uh, and obviously, there are some improvements there. Uh, this is uh, January. Um, and uh, we asked the child, but he just it didn't have a good uh, focus at the time, and so that that wasn't uh, that didn't do too too well. Uh, but it was at this point that Abmacall was available to us, and uh, we we told her about the research, and and she uh, went on uh, the Abmacall. And this is uh, May fourth, uh, two thousand eighteen, um, and when he drew this, we were all just shocked uh, uh, at his uh, just the visual skills. Um, uh, and uh, the mother actually uh, does not have any complaints about her son anymore, that she just discontinued the treatments altogether. <laughs> uh, so, 
uh, as, uh, as to sum, sum it up, uh, here are my, my personal clinical impressions of abimacol after six months uh, of use. Um, there were absolutely no side effects uh, reported from the mothers. Uh, the tablets are relatively uh, small and easy to feed. Uh, there are drastic, uh, in some in some cases, immediate cessation of temper tantrums. Um, there is definitely an improved quality of sleep, uh, and also a calming effect as well. Um, the rate at which these children improved uh, uh, in their motor skills and nonverbal communication skills, social interaction was uh, just something that I have I have never witnessed before. Um, and uh, just every day I would sit in my room and uh, these children would, would come in and they would be seek, speaking these uh, long sentences and uh, I would just be in awe uh, every day. It's just new vocabulary. Uh, it, was, it was pretty cool. And um, uh, the changes have been reported as fast as two hours uh, to as long as two weeks. Um, the, uh, some have reported a, a hyperactivity mostly uh, when they discontinued the product um, and it was because we didn't have enough uh, available. And uh, for me, um, a part of my job is to consult with the parents uh, when their child goes, uh, re when their child's tick symptoms kind of reappears. And um, 2000, in 2018, I was, um, I didn't have much consultation about that, so I, I just wanted to include that in there because um, certainly there uh, were no uh, very limited number of consultations regarding ticks, um, and that's what my job mostly entails. Um, uh, and uh, obviously, the nutraceutical effect of sulforaphane is uh, something that is independent uh, from the nutritional interventions, and I, I believe that. Um, you know, Avmacol is one of the most cost-effective strategies against uh, ASD, uh, if not the most. Um, so uh, with that, I want to end my talk. Uh, I would like to thank these people uh, listed here. Um, and I, I've been a long uh, a fan of Autism One, and it's been such a great experience uh, coming here and, and seeing all these speakers uh, for the first time. It's almost like being in a movie set, to, actually, to be honest. Uh, so thank you, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you to all of you. I think Brian will come up uh, to answer some of your questions.